Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we are out here in Ocean Springs. We're gonna be putting in on the beach, trying our luck. We got a north wind this morning, so it's real calm out there. Um, I had some pretty big plans, man. I was really wanting to go over to Alabama. Uh, there's an island off the coast of Alabama. It's about a mile away from the boat ramp. I was gonna paddle out to, I wanted to fish around it, but um, I did all this planning for it and everything and then realized it was Memorial Day weekend. So I didn't wanna take the chance of driving all the way over there and having boaters out everywhere. So we're gonna keep it local today. Like I said, it's beautiful out right now. We're gonna try our luck. Fish on, guys. All right. First fish in the morning. Boy, he choked that thing, too. Right. Nice trout there. He's probably going to be either right at the right size or just a hair short. See what we got. Hey, yeah, he's 14 and a half. First fish of the morning. It's a good trout. Beautiful fish. Let's see if we can get on some more. Now I'm trying something different out. Let's go around. This time we got the, uh, the five inch gulp shirt, jerk shad. Got that on a Berkeley swimming bait jig head. So putting off that same scent, I use those uh, those four inch swimming mullets quite a bit. But man, they're so there's another one stacked up right on top of this dock. Quick release. But those four inch uh, swimming sh uh, the swimming mullet, they're so, they break apart so easy. You don't get more than one or two fish on them. All right guys, got another fish. Couldn't get the GoPro to turn on quick enough. Looks like a little red fish. That's on this five inch gulp jerk shad. Yeah, a little red. Beautiful fish. Let's see here. Got him in the eye, and I'm trying to make sure he didn't lose his eye. guy nice little rat red still got a blue tail so we're just working this beach line um, if you go far enough down this beach line you get past the houses you do start to run into where uh, you actually get some grass lines along this beach so that little rat red was just cruising this this beach we gonna see if we can catch some more Hey guys, I think it's about time that we're gonna get, I think we're gonna get Melissa her own GoPro. So we can get, um, you know, just another view from the footage. Just another view from, from a day of fishing with both of us. And uh, she's, uh, she's getting real used to her kayak and fishing without me. So she's actually quite a ways back there. And if she was hooked up into something really big right now, I'd be kind of scrambling to make it to her in time. So I think it's time to get her her own GoPro. We'll start, uh, you know, splicing the footage together for trips. What do y'all think? Leave a comment down below. Guys, this fish came out of nowhere. I haven't had a bite in a minute. I never even felt him hit it. It just felt like dead weight on there. 
out of nowhere. He's not, he's fighting weird. That's probably a catfish, no, my luck. I never felt him hit it. It just kind of like dead weight popped up out of nowhere. Yeah. Sail cat. Uh, you, we got away from the shore, got out into about six or seven feet of water. That's where them sail cat like to hit. They like to be out there a little bit deeper. He hit it really weird though. Like I said, I never, never felt him take it. Just kind of dead weight out of nowhere. Boy, he's jacked up my. Yeah. Jacked up this jerk shad even more than the trout were. But uh, I mean that's fish number four, y'all, and that that bait's holding up. I'm, I'm really impressed with that. This is the first time trying it, so I think I'm done with the uh, with the swimming with the gulp swimming mullet. I think I'm done with it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the other thing I've noticed too, guys, is is using this jerk shad over the the swimming mullet. You know, the swimming mullet has that that it's basically a curly tail grub. And those croaker, man, they just take those tails left and right. And I have not had that in shoe at all. I mean, it's got a tail, it's just not curly. But I haven't had that issue yet with the croakers taking the tail off the jerk shot. So, I mean, that's just one more reason to be using this thing. Yeah. It ain't very big. <laughs> little guy. Found a tiny, oh, white trout. Found a tiny little white trout out here in about seven feet of water. He, that tiny little white trout man just gulped down that gulp. I <laughs> see what I did there. Little guy. Oh. Oh. Pelicans are diving back behind me. Well, guys, that's the fifth. Uh, that's fish number five on the gulp. It's holding up. It's got a bunch of chew marks on it, but between this Berkeley uh, jig head in this this jerk shad i mean it's not wanting to slide off the hook at all i mean it's just ate up missing chunks out of it but it's still holding strong Let's see if i can get another little little trout yes yeah, sir finally another fish Ooh, he's making some runs too He ain't coming up like a trout though. Please don't be a catfish. Yeah, it's a catfish. Man. Hard head at that. So we're up to a hard head, sail cat, rat red, and a trout, or two trout. I got so excited to feel that thump on his lure. Goodbye. But that being said, that's fish number six on this jerk shad. I got big old chunks missing out of it. It's still holding on though. I'm glad they do because they only come five to a pack for like seven bucks so I feel like I still feel like I'm getting money's worth though all right y'all got another one I don't know what he is yet that's true right on the end of this old dock here not very big just barely hooked. Another 12, 13 inch trout. Right here at the end of this dock. Oh, you just soaked me. Thank you for that. 
So we've moved on further down the beach to the stretch of houses that have a bunch of old broke down docks. So we got a bunch of dock pilings out here. Now this, last year's storms just annihilated all these docks, which really sucks. But uh, there still seems to be some fish holding on them. So that's where we're fishing right now. If we get down there far enough, it's hard to see, but there's a really cool house down here right on the beach. Um, it's circular and I don't know a lot of information on it, but I'll try to look it up. It's really cool looking. You want? Well, so finally done caught a fish, y'all. Just caught one about five minutes after we started. Just had multiple bites, but no hookups until now. Is it a good one? Keeper? She thinks it's a keeper, so I still ain't bought her a bump board yet. So I'm gonna go run her down real quick. Let her use the bump board, see if it's a keeper. He choked that thing too, huh? You can be close. I can't see the whole whole fish, but Did you hook him in the throat. Got that? Ooh, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's your fish. It's me right at legal, I think. Oh no, he's he's 16. Oh yeah, we're taking him home. What a fat little thing. He is too. Right off the edge of the same dock that I just caught my little dink. <laughs> dink. <laughs> Guess I should have went back and fished it some more. I don't even see your stringer. Oh, it's right underneath your legs. There you go. All right, you have fun with that. I'm gonna go catch some more fish. Fish number two. All right, now I guess it's quality over quantity. <laughs> there we go. Fish on. Feels like a trout shake. Ah, I thought he was going to be a keeper. That's why I netted him. I don't think he is. Yet. Yeah, this wind's pushing me right off my spot, though. Man, he's been jacked up before. He's been. He's been messed up. He actually probably is a keeper, maybe 14 or 15. But I'm a, this guy's uh, had some hardships. I'm gonna let him go to fight another day. He's skinny, anyways. But man, he's got a big old chunk missing out of him. We doubled up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know what it is about me snagging bait fish all the time. That's funny stuff. Last week snagging pinfish. 
thinking I got a real fish. This week's snagging croaker in the throat. That's a good size though. Melissa's got a popping cork with a jig head on on her other pole. I'm about to go run this croaker over to her. Get her to throw that on and just have that sitting back behind a kayak. Man, I'd love for her to get into like a big old, I mean, a big old trout or a redfish, big old bull red. There we go. What we got here? Trout. Another trout. Little speck. He pumped it a few times before he finally took the hook. Not a very big guy. Sure are fun nonetheless though. Such a pretty fish, man. I'm gonna let him go. Now, I finally changed out that gulp to a, a, a fresh jerk bait. I think I lasted seven or eight fish on one. Uh, see, that's, that's pretty good compared to those swimming mullet. So, we gonna keep at it. I think I might've found another little school of them here between a couple of docks. See if there's another one right here. Ah, that was a croaker. That's not though. Right here at the boat again. Oh, another trout. I done snagged him in the forehead, y'all. How in the world does that happen? Literally. Oh. Calm down. Calm down. Like through the brains or something. He freaking through the eye, not the top of the head. Calm down, little buddy. All right. You gave me a nice little battle scar there, that hook. Trying to get him off the hook. Got me pretty good. All right, guys, so we've gotten closer to that house I was talking about earlier. Um, I'm gonna see if I can actually zoom in a little bit here too. It's so cool looking right here off the water like this. Oh, there's a mullet. But the houses along this, this section of beach are pretty cool. There's a bunch of Caribbean colored houses on back down this way. You know, your greens and your oranges and teals. And it's such, it makes for such a pretty day out on the water. The wind has calmed down, as y'all can see. It's, it's pretty calm out now. Uh, a little overcast but man it's such a beautiful day we haven't caught anything major but we've caught quite a few fish i think melissa's up to six or seven i think i'm at nine or ten so we're gonna keep on we're not, we're not gonna fish too much longer we're gonna hit a few more of these docks because we're we're a good ways away from from where we launched so y'all wish us luck we only got a little bit of time left all right, got another trout finally. The key today has been finding these these old docks. Oh, this is a good one too. This is definitely a keeper. <laughs> so glad he didn't hook me because that hook came right out. Oh my god, what a mess! Man, I tried to hustle him into the freaking net as fast as I could so I didn't lose him. The hook popped out after I accidentally slung him into the boat. And that is definitely a keeper. Yeah, look at that one there. That's probably 16, 17. Uh, I might be getting ahead of myself. It might be 15, 16. Let's see here. 16 and a quarter. Got one more for the dinner table. All right. It's been a minute since my last bite.
guys, I was doing some cast netting. But I saw some bait jumping. Well, it got hooked up with something that's pulling drag. And she's really close to this dock. What you got? You got him away from the dock now? You can stop kicking then. You can just let him. Pull and drag? Sail cat? Yes. Sail cat? Okay. That makes sense then. <laughs> you want to do a catch and cook with a sail cat? It's a heavy flipping sail cat. Yeah, those sail cats fight hard, man. Oh, I enjoy the, the fight. I'll take that over a hard head any day. Apparently she had a drag set too loose, guys. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. We had a great time out here on the water. Such a beautiful day. Caught a lot of fish. A few, uh, few trout worth bringing home. We're going to have for dinner tonight. I sure do appreciate y'all watching this. This is truly a passion of mine. Be out here fishing. I live, eat, and breathe fishing. So, hope y'all enjoy the videos. If y'all do, please do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. Alright guys, so we just got docked on the beach. Just pulled up and happened to run into a few uh, few new friends from over in Atlanta. They came down for the weekend to uh, get away. They're actually staying right down here. And uh, they did some fishing this morning. Now, actually, funny story. We put in this morning and watched them already taking their kayaks out and caught some killer trout right off of this broke down dock right out here y'all have the trout with you or no no they already threw them back okay well uh guys we had a great time it's always great running into fans really appreciate y'all reaching out saying hi uh anytime y'all see me say hey i don't mind one bit hope y'all enjoyed it we'll catch you on the next one